So I hopped on old school RuneScape like every other day and started looking for a new boss to fight. After a quick wiki search and a little more persuasion, I decided on one of the current best money makers in old school RuneScape, Vorkath. I was going to do loot from 5 hours of Vorkath, but I didn't have a very big cash stack and actually ran out of money at the 3 hour mark, so this is going to be loot from 3 hours of Vorkath. Vorkath is a really great boss, but the worst part about it is that you can't go AFK. Most bosses are predictable, so you can look away and do other things, but Vorkath, it seems like as soon as you look away for a second, the fireball is shot at you, and by the time you look back, it's too late. For the gear setup, I was using a full bandos, ferocious gloves, primordial boots, berserker ring imbued, a fire cape, and a serpentine helm. A lot of people would rather use the upgraded Natas Not Helm, but I prefer the serpentine helm. It has one less strength bonus, but better defense bonus, and stops me from getting poisoned. So I didn't need to take any antidote potions with me, it's a lot more convenient for the long term. My inventory setup was the Slayer Staff to auto cast Crumble Undead, 3 prayer potions, a super anti-fire, a combat potion, sharks and some crumb bonds, house teleports and a rune pouch and I also had a Bandos God Sword to lower Vorkath's defense. That is the first price check of the 3 hours coming in at 373k. The best thing about Vorkath is all of the expensive drops. If you get lucky you can easily get a 5 or 600k trip with just 3 kills per trip, especially if you get lucky with back to back Dragon Bolt drops. Throughout the 3 hours I got a ton of great drops but none of them were rare ones that you'd really want, those being of course the 2 visages and the pet Vorky. If you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and subscribe to see more more old school RuneScape content like this. The wiki puts the average Vorkath drop at 137k, so even without the rare drops, Vorkath is definitely worth doing for the money. This is the first look at the loot tab, and it's looking pretty good. Over 300 dragon bolts, some dragon drops, plus lots of dragon hides. Throughout the whole time I was at Vorkath, I didn't do the Wookswalk method. I've heard it speeds up kills a ton, but I haven't done it before, and I would end up dying a ton before I got the hang of it. If you do much Vorkath, leave a comment and let me know if you do the Wookswalk method or not, and what your personal best time is. My current best time using melee without the Wooks walk is 1 minute and 26 seconds. I got really lucky with the Bandos God Sword special attack a few times which speeds up kills quite a bit. Most of the people I see here are using range with elite void instead of melee and it seems like they get faster kills but probably spend more on supplies because of the high bolt costs. I don't have the skills for the hard western diaries to unlock the elite void set and I don't even have the normal void set but I would love to come back and try forecast with range in the future if I do get the void. Coming in with another trip price check at 341k. Most of the trips were over 300k if I got at least one good drop, but sometimes I did get pretty unlucky. This is going to be the last kill of the trip, coming in with some red dragon hide. Ending the 3 hours with 303 Vorkath kill count. Let's go sell everything and see how much the total comes to. Requirements to fight Vorkath are pretty steep, you need to complete the Dragon Slayer 2 quest. This does limit the amount of people that can get here, but it also means that there are very few bots that actually put in the work to get this far just to get banned, which should mean that the prices of the items that you can get here should stay at a higher price for longer. Making Vorkath a great moneymaker for a very long time. Some of you may have noticed that in my bank I had 4 Vorkath heads, but only one of those came from these 3 hours, the other 3 were already in my bank. As always, if you would like to see me do a video on a boss or monster, leave a comment and let me know. I am pretty new to bossing, but I will try my best to do some of the more end game bosses. Okay, selling the last of the loot now, and the total value is going to come in at 5.4 million. 